Trainer varieties are back and the market is scuffed. Oh my God, boy. Look at this, man. We're talking about 200K for 94 overall. It's crazy. Let's go look at the legends today. It's legends Saturday. Let's see. Oh, oh my God. 200K is crazy man this is an insane amount of coins to spend on training i probably i'm pretty sure training probably triple probably double i don't know how i feel about rolling training varieties at this much i know i've seen a lot of people tell me that they're selling their teams off actually selling your team off may be kind of smart because training varieties is only in for five days so with that being said you might be able to sell your team off a little bit and then after those five days you could buy your team back and then it'll be maybe half of the price. You could potentially get the same cards for the same price you paid for or earlier, or you can get better cards for the price that you paid for those other cards. I don't know. It, it's looking crazy, bro. Like the prices that some of these cards are selling at is insane. Like <laughs> Steve Smith was 100K yesterday, bro. <laughs> and then EA just randomly just dropped training varieties. So I'm assuming we're gonna get a big piece of playoff promo, maybe the Super Bowl promo on thursday or friday or something like that with this market bro you <sighs> good luck trying to find some training like at cheap values bro i just seen that deontay johnson at 154k since the market shift i guess your brain has to shift and spend a little bit more on training you spend in about 27k close to 30k every time you open this i mean this is basically the same amount of coins you're gonna be spending on opening up a training variety so if you get something spicy you can sell it on the auction block and then open up more training you feel me but this is all gonna be guaranteed on your pools you feel me so like look at this 86 let's see how much he's going because it was yeah these easily went up these things was like 3k i just can't believe the training went up so fast bro that that's literally like a flip and like without even announcement bro it just flipped like people just got on a game and just started buying every piece of training they could bro like they didn't care which i mean i understand we've been waiting on training varieties i just want to see what the vibes is with the training varieties man i want to get like 100k training but i don't want to spend too much i don't want to get banged up on the prices let's see what we get let's see if we can get something crazy and no sir let's go to the pro game days maybe we can see some spicy in the pro game days there is ltds in here so we could still pull you know some fire if ea rocking with me 81 quinn and williams starting off with a nice little mid core leap and then we hit 84 jason kelsey okay kickoff i said kickoff playoff higher than the 86 baby 93 right here save the day wow l big card 83 um this is my last 80 this is garbage i ain't gonna lie i did open one training variety because i had an, i had some coins to open one bro and let me tell you they gave me a common strat item i thought i was gonna get something spicy no sir common strat item and these packs are freaking doo-doo bruh let's hit up the rare strat item and see if we can go crazy i've been th this has been a miss for me too i ain't gonna lie i'm just opening up stuff at this point all right so you quit you spend 40k you quick sell this you down 14k right so boom down 14k let's see hopefully we get a purple one right here purple 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 wow down 28k it's not panning out the way i wanted to pan out yeah why are my packs so booty cheeks today wow packs are terrible there's no way bro please go one please 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 well yep we're done it's like why you just gotta start my day off in such a like rude fashion bro like just just ew you know what i'm saying just ew like these are decent for 26k pack uno mas we'll do one more and then we'll get up out of here i wish they brought back the fantasy joints bro they put the all pro fantasies in the bundles yeah bro not everybody is spending money on the game bro i know you brought the training varieties back i know i know i get it bro but at least i feel like the packs are worse so we got 75k training this is actually not a lot of training but we're gonna see what these varieties talking about let's just see if ea is feeling spicy today my packs are garbage today they've been garbage so hopefully we can change this and turn this around because this is looking not good not good a lot of people are going to be uploading oh my god suck. i know ea probably made these odds so awful like just completely awful bro maybe it's absolute banger who knows we already know the training is crazy price right now nothing over an 80 this is this is fun this is really fun you know i'm having a great time pulling nothing over an 80 you know not even you know all the packs today have been garbage though so i'm not even gonna say like it's just these every single pack i spent 400 300k on packs put 188 man 82 you know come on we got the, like two more pulls left can we get something spicy anything you know quick, quick ltd animation right here you know 
I'm just playing, that's asking for way too much. 83 Adrian Amos. I'm very curious if these are actually hidden, like as far as like people actually making their coins, because 100K is not bad. My goodness, bro, can I get a legendary joint? So we make back 95K, awesome need. So I do have a plan. And I think what I'm gonna do, because I haven't finished all my legend challenges yet, I'm gonna knock out my legend challenges, do majority of the solos, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much quick sell my whole team and roll it into train varieties. The goal is to see how everything is gonna pan out. Like, I mean, the cards are super expensive right now, so I might as well just go ahead and roll it and see what happens. If you don't have a lot of coins, then don't even waste your time doing it because it's gonna put you in a bad situation. I think I got majority of my cards at prices lower than what they're going for right now. Why not just go ahead and quick sell them, keep all the net cards that I can. I am running the Patriots theme team, so I'm thinking about switching from that anyways. With that being said, that's kind of like my game plan. I will be just for the next five days, just making coins, rolling varieties, making coins, opening packs and stuff like that. Not really gonna be playing much of the game. And if you guys are in the same situation, it might be smart to do that. But like I said, it just really just depends on where you are right now. Like if you already kind of banged up on coins, then it might not make that much sense. But if it really doesn't matter to you and you have a lot of coins and you, know, you might want to quick sell your stuff, you might want to quick sell it just to have fun with the training varieties because they're only in for five days. So you can kind of just enjoy them for the next five days and then get your team back when they come out. These prices are going to be inflated to the point where there's not a lot of cards on the auction block, right? And then when that big promo hits, a lot of cards are going to be flooded into the auction block, which is going to cause this price to go down a lot. And at the same time, with no varieties, the training prices will go down. And if it's a bunch of new 96s who come into the game, which I think there will be with the play last week of the playoff and then the new promo coming in, which I think it'll be like a Super Bowl promo, which is another piece of the playoff. But if all of that comes into the game at the same time, we're going to see a lot of price decrease. But yeah, if you haven't finished your legend challenges, go knock out those. Any challenge, essentially, any challenge you haven't finished right now and you still have a team, go knock it out and then just go get rid of your team. If it's solo battles you want to finish, then finish the solo battles. Whatever you want to do, just go ahead and finish it and get into uh, rolling and trying to make coins. I'm not going to say it's a guaranteed way to make coins because you might end up losing coins. But at the end of the day, you got to give yourself a chance and that's what i will be doing for the next four to five days and seeing how that pans out for me